Hi, I'm here at Embedded World 2025 with Ali from uh, Nordic Semiconductor. And he's got something really, really interesting I've been playing just a moment ago. Could you tell us how does it work and why does? Yeah, so this is channel sounding running on uh, Bluetooth Low Energy and it's running on our 54L15 uh, development kit. It's basically providing you with secure, accurate distance measurement through Bluetooth Low Energy. And uh, the nice thing about it, it's uh, kind of like um, gonna open a lot of doors when interoperability comes to mobile phones. So then since kind of like all of us have mobile phones and they have Bluetooth Low Energy, once the interoperability or the support for channel sound it comes to the phone, you have kind of like uh, uh, devices that are more distance aware and you can How tell. How far can we go? Well, uh, you can kind of like go as long as like you have Bluetooth low energy range. This is showing you one method of channel sounding, which this, is... This is how tall I am. Yeah, which Maybe is through uh, phase-based ranging. You have another method in channel sounding, which is round trip time. That kind of like give you more results when you are at further distances. But one of the things that I want to talk about today is our SDK yeah. that actually enables developers to get to market fast and to also experiment with these cool features that are available in the Bluetooth latest specification. So as you're aware, we're part of the uh, Zephyr project and Zephyr is one of the most uh, kind of like growing Arctos in the market. We use it as a core component in our SDK, the Anarv Connect SDK. Yep. And you can see how it's growing. Like you can see the board of the members and all the major players in the embedded world are. Oh, if there. you're just an amateur like me, how easy to, it is to get into it? Yeah, so that's a good question. And uh, since it's an SDK intended for production and it's kind of like batteries included SDK. Now what do I mean by batteries included? It's basically everything that the developer will need will find it in the SDK. There is a little bit of a learning curve but we have a, an answer for you. We have made uh, an academy that actually helps developer to onboard with our SDK and also Zephyr in a very short period of time. So we have free courses uh -huh. that you can take at any time they're completely free. All you need is one of our development kits. Uh -huh. And you get up and running in no time. Because a lot of time, you get a really nice board, an interesting concept, and maybe even SDK, but you don't really have resources. Everyone just expects you to know stuff to do, start developing. But if you're just interested in a particular technology, having that support, having someone to show you how to utilize your board, how to take advantage of the new features, it's quite important. Yeah, definitely. And especially, like you mentioned, there are two things. There's the protocol aspects that you need to learn and there's the SDK and the APIs. So what we did at the Academy is like we brought these two together in one place and it's all guided with hands-on exercises. So we cover what you need to know when it comes to the theory and the practical kind of like information and then apply it in actual exercises where you can kind of like get started and develop firmware in a very short period of time. So we have courses on general kind of like firmware development. We have two courses on that and we have this is called the NRF Connect SDK Fundamentals, and there's the intermediate one. And we also have uh, protocol-specific courses. Let's say you're interested in Bluetooth Low Energy, there's a dedicated course for that. And I want to, if I wanted to find this, where, where I would go to find this? Just go to nordicsemi.com, and there is the academy, or just search uh, Nordic Developer Academy on Google. You'll find it there. All right, cool. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to actually playing with this because yeah. uh, there's some impressive things that you could do in this uh, whole yeah. automation space. Absolutely. That's, that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks so much. I've been speaking to Ali at Embedded World. Uh, and uh, click uh, into the description for the link for more details about it. So I'll see you in the next person.